Hi guys, my name is Sabrina and I'm finally back with another video showing my face and it's not only April the 14th, it is also my birthday! So I turned 17 today and I still feel like this age just just doesn't really matter. Like you can't really do anything extra. When you turn 18, you do have like a lot more responsibility. So maybe I should be happy that I'm still 17. But I mean like you can drink and you can do all of these fun things. You don't really need your parents' permission anymore. I just don't really feel like it's my birthday, but it is so. I'm just gonna celebrate it with another video on YouTube. Today I'll be talking about the books that I'm planning to read in April, even though April is pretty much gone already, but I mean better late than never, right? I guess. <laughs> Before I'll talk about the books that I'm planning to read this month in April, I'll be talking about the one book that I read in March because I just want to quickly mention it. I didn't have any time to read because I was following diving lessons. I have my new job that I started, then I also had test week. A lot of things were going on in March and I'm so sorry that I didn't post that many videos. I really missed doing this even though I don't have like 10,000s of subscribers. I just really enjoyed doing this and sharing my thoughts and opinions on books. But the book that I read in March is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. Just to quickly summarize my feelings about this book, it is a really great action-packed book with amazing characters. The only thing that I had that bothered me was that it took me a month to read because of school and all those extra things so I didn't was like fully immersed into the story so I forgot things so before the sequel comes out I really need to give this one a reread but I'm not mad at that because it's a really great book. So right now on to the books that I'll be reading in April and the one that I just started yesterday because I have time again right now is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and yes this is the Dutch edition. I don't really like the cover of it, like it's not really beautiful or anything, but I don't hate it. But the Harry Potter books are actually one of the few books that I've read in Dutch for fun because most of the times I read my books in English, like 90% of my times. I just prefer reading books in English. We just have these Dutch editions of Harry Potter. I just really want to wrap up this series, but then again, I also don't. I mean, it's so much fun and I love Hogwarts and I love, you know, you, you know the feeling because you are a Harry Potter fan as well, I think, I hope. <laughs> I have watched all the movies, so I'm not gonna be spoiled for anything that happens in the books, but it's still so much fun. I do wish that I would have read the books first before I saw the movies, but I grew up with the films as a child, so yeah. Then I also have to read a book for Dutch, so I'm just gonna quickly mention the title, and that is Joe's Speedboat by Tommy Wieringa. We'll see if I think it's okay, because most of the times I hate literature, but I've heard that this is quite a fun book, so... We'll see. <laughs> then I also got Kindred Spirits or Kindred Spirits, I don't know how to pronounce this word, I'm so sorry, by Rainbow Rowell. And I bought this short story of her because it, this was like for World Book Day and it was like three euros on Amazon and I was like, that's cheap and it's a book and it's Rainbow Rowell and it's about Star Wars. I have to get it. I watched all the seven Star Wars movies in three weeks this past winter. I absolutely love Star Wars. I'm a huge fan. I love the seventh movie. It was really, really good. And then I found out that this story was about like a girl going to the Star Wars queue line thing for the movie. It's not really about Star Wars, but it's just about she meets two people in the same line and they talk and I have no clue, but it's a super short story and I really want to read it. I'll let you guys know what I think about this short story and if you should read it as well. Yeah. And then I have two picks for the last book that I'll try to read in April and that is either gonna be City of Bones by Cassandra Clare because I've been wanting to start this series for about two months right now or The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. We already know the title of the fifth book, Empire of Storms and the Throne of Glass series so I'm just like, oh my god, I just need to read like until book four right now so I have to read the prequel, have to read number three and number four and then I can read number five, of course, duh. But I also just really want to start the Immortal Instruments series so I'm just like, Hmm, so if I've read all these other books, I just look what my mood is if I want to have like Shadowhunters or if I want to have the fantastic fantasy world of Throne of Glass, like I don't know which one I'm gonna pick and it's so hard. So those were all the books that I'm planning to read in April and I hope that I will at least be able to read three of these books because we only have like, I don't know, two to three weeks of April left. Let me know in the comments down below which books you have read in April or are planning to read these upcoming two to three weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh wait, thumbnail. I always forget to make a thumbnail. Jesus Christ. Let's just put all the books in here that I mentioned today because then it will look like I have like a huge TBR and that I'm like a super big reader but I'm actually not. Let's do that. <laughs> Betraying people, guys, that's what it's all about.
these days. Oh my god, they're almost gonna fall. I'm still alive though. I'm still alive.